Yeah, so what it? Alright, um, right, right now we're at a uh, school inside the um, Al Mashal Medina Samoa again. Tadif. At Tadif. I keep forgetting it. You never hear Tadif in, in Australia. Um, this school is run by the Free Syrian Army. It's not a school anymore, obviously, as you can see. It, this is more of a refugee camp. People living in their homes. Don't, there's people who want their privacy, so, as I've said, so just keep it onto us and me again. Um, right now we're talking, we're not going to give you his name either, as you know. He'll probably be killed for giving his name. Um, my name is Alan Aysma, I'm sure you know him. 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 What's your name? I'm sure you know him. 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 So what the guy is saying is planes, um, oppression, um, like pretty much everything that is bad is, has, has caused him to come to the school. I wanted to explain to the guy, but I'm not going to, that Bashar al-Assad has been destroying schools as well. Um, but I'm not going to let him live in peace while he can live in peace. Um, what is the problem with the problem with the problem with the problem يعني حد يعني شحيح مساعدة شحيحة جدا وقود ما في كهرباء ما في يعني حتى الماء ما في يعني والله المعاناة هون للشعب للنازحين صعبة كتير شق تماما ما عاد تجي الكهرباء يمكن ساعة أو ساعتين باليوم يعني هذا كارسة يعني بالنسبة للنازحين أو غير النازحين يعني حتى أهل مدينة تادل كارسة كارسة يعني يعني لا كهرباء لا مازور يعني برد أطفال هاي أطفال طلعت بدها تلعب بدها لا في كهرباء لا في uh, so what, what, what he said now is the food that we've that they've been supply, supplying out you got to remember that the free Syrian army is self-funded it is funded purely within its own means within within its own soldiers who are, who are paying from their own pockets to pay for these people's food and and stuff um, what this guy is saying is there's no money to there's no there's not enough supplies to even feed these people um, from the Free Syrian Army. Uh, as as you can tell, they they need help. There is no oil. There's no petrol. There's no diesel. There and, and diesel is one of the most essential uh, commodity, one of the most essential items in this place. Um, obviously, because last night it was like zero degrees. <laughs> it was literally freezing. I had I had two jumpers on. I had two blankets on, and I was still cold. These guys don't even have a blanket. Most of them don't have blankets. Some of them do. Um, depends on. Yeah. So what he's saying. So what he's saying is, their life is hell. It's 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 a living hell. The longer we take in, in improving these people's lives, and even when we improve these people's lives, it's not even guaranteed. Until Bashar al-Assad is gone, these people are going to live under the oppression, under the dictatorship, under fear. And trust me, I've been I've been here for nearly a week now, and it's it's, it's complete state of fear. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Dallas.